So how can we d d distract Taylor? Because I don't think there's any way into his uh, office without him there. That's fair. Can we get him to just throw up a cookie? <laughs> eat Force a cookie, him to eat Taylor. It. I'll eat one if you eat one. <laughs> any news? Mind if I help myself to one of those scrumptious looking Oaxacan cookies? Be my guest. May I take a closer look at that wacky Dada painting? Be my guest. I just had a call from Poppy this morning. She says she's in a really creative period right now. I said, please, sweetie, if you get any more creative, they're going to lock you up. <laughs> uh, pardon me a moment. Nancy, I'll be right back. I hope. Uh oh, he had one of the cookies. <laughs> of course he did. Poppy said to replace it with something organic. It's organic, I promise. <laughs> All right, time to get out of here. Time to run. We yeah. have the first piece. Now we just need to get the thing from Taylor. What? Or not Taylor. Oh, jeez. Joanna. Yeah, I still don't know how to go about that. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Need something? I've got hmm. work to do. Carpe diem. He's got to be gone at some point. Yeah. What are we missing that we haven't done? I'm not entirely sure. We could go try to talk to Alejandro and see what... If he's got an idea to distract her. <laughs> I don't know. He's the one that wants the paperwork, so... True. Okay. That's the door that opens. <laughs> oh. Of course he's gone. It's six. So the consulate's closed. We were allowed in, but the consulate's closed. Of course. Not a fan of that breathing noise. I don't. Is it a breathing noise? That's what it sounds like to me. Part of the music. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Mexican consulate. Alejandro! Alejandro! Help! Hello. Have you heard? I just can't go the through all the stuff. Was That's fair. From the museum. Well, I heard the alarms going off, but it wasn't until Henry called me that I heard the news. Hmm. You don't sound very concerned about all of this. I was running late. I just figured somebody tripped a wire and I kept going. <laughs> hmm. I'll need to alert the police so they can ask you some questions. I have diplomatic immunity, so I do not have to answer any questions. But I will because I have nothing to hide. Don't Fair you enough. care about the disappearance of such a rare Maya artifact? That artifact was lost to me as soon as it left Mexican soil. So my friend Pakal goes underground for a while until he is sold again. Suddenly, he turns up in Amsterdam or Hong Kong. Unless he is rightfully repatriated to Mexico, what's the difference? Have you heard? Henrik van der Heun fell off the pyramid at the museum. He's in the hospital with a mysterious head injury. That is terrible news. I hope it's not too serious. 
Do you know what <sighs> cinnabar is? The red powder that the Maya used? Sure, I know it. They use it at Beach Hill too, do they not? They do use it at the museum, but Joanna told me they haven't been able to get any in a while. What is your point? Joanna said the museum didn't have any, but the supplier said she ordered some last week. Have you called the police? I don't want to jump to conclusions. Of course. Sister Joanna couldn't possibly be a thief <laughs> now, could she? I should she totally to could. I yes, detect you should. sarcasm. Yeah. Just a wee bit. Well, that wasn't very helpful, was it? No. No, it wasn't. You think Henrik knows what uh, Paul was afraid of? And we've asked him already. He just says you're... You but when I asked him, he just said you're asking the wrong amnesiac. I mean, fair. Which, fair, why would anyone know that? Stinking sunny June. Yeah, probably the only person who knows the oh, real hey. answer. Excellent. Oh, thank goodness. What's she looking at here? Something reddish. Could be a million things. <laughs> El Museo Cultural, Beach Hill Museum, Joanna Riggs Director. Oh, Diego Landa Ornamental Carving. So they have the carving from Bishop Diego. That's the Bacall carving. No, I think that's a different one. Was it? I don't think it was. Because Bishop Diego had the carving specifically for East. Oh, that's right. Okay. So they were had that one on loan. Interesting. Okay, key. Okay. To what? Most likely this. Oh. Providence docks. Ink the call carving. Site of excavation unknown, year of excavation unknown. First known record of ownership, 14, 1940, given by Rupert Starr to the su Serpentine, Serpentine. Serpentine Gallery in Los Angeles. Sold by Serpentine to Felix and Miranda Peterson of Connecticut. 1993, sold at auction by Peterson Estate to Beach Hill Museum. Huh. Hmm. Seems a little weird. Transfer of title. Rupert Starr hereby transfers title to the Pascal Carving. To the Serpentine Gallery, and the carving is given in exchange for 37% ownership of the gallery. Uh, sold to Felix Peterson, Greenwich, Connecticut. Bob Via Cargo Expeditors, Inc. Pre Columbian Artifacts, Maya Origin. Insurance oh. via Price Darrow, LTD. Ship via Courier. $10,000 for insurance. Uh, Bertram Vandalay. 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 Where do I know that name, that word from? The name. I don't know. I think it's from, is it Vandalay? It's some, it's a last name in one of the other games too for like a, a business or something. Oh, is it? As you may have heard, my longtime clients, Felix and Miranda Peterson, both passed away this summer in the heat wave. Felix at was 89 and Miranda was 91. By all accounts, they had lived extraordinary full lives still. It is too bad their air conditioning went out on the blink when it did. Went on the blink when it did. I and all citizens of Greenwich uh, will miss them dearly. It's quite dark. Uh, as you know, the Petersons had no children. Per their instructions, I'm to arrange the auction of their estate and donate the proceeds to charity. As you may also know, the Petersons had a fabulous art collection, including several pre-Columbian pre artifacts that may be of particular interest to you. Auction will be held February 7th. Please let me know if you're planning to attend. Sincerely, your friend and colleague, Bertram Vandalay. Wrong one. This one. Bill of Sale, Estate Auction, Pacalt Carving, Pre-Columbian Artifact of Mayan Origin, uh, Sinclair Taylor, Joanna Riggs, Bertram Vandalay. Okay. Is there anything else we need from here? We haven't used the key. Hmm. wonder if that what that key goes to. Because it could be the exhibits, because it looks like that type of key. Yeah. Let's go to the Mexican consulate and see what we 
find, I guess. There's probably a carving that's locked in an exhibit case. Except for wouldn't we have noticed it? I don't know. Hello, Nancy. You have a special delivery for me, I hope? Here's your file, as requested. Good work, my friend. I suppose you would like something in return? I trust your Nahuatl has become fluent again. The Nahuatl word for snake is coatl. C O T L. I knew that. Yeah, me too. Muchas gracias. Gotta go. Adios, Nancy. That's why the bird is a quetzal and the snake is a coatl. So it's a quetzal coatl. Bird snake. Okay, so we need to figure out what that is in Morse. Oh, yeah, we need to look at the Morse book. I know some of the letters. Because A is dot dash. T is dash. What is O? Is it dash, dash, dash? I think it's dash, dash, dash. I want to say yeah one way or another we'll look at it I was a boy scout I know I used to know Morse code at one time okay but it's been a long it was time in the ham radio book you you right and then we need uh lychee leche for coast is clear yep L E C H. Yeah, I know how to spell leche. <laughs> okay, okay. That's just milk in Spanish, Aaron. I'm aware. <laughs> I too took Spanish. It may have been a long time ago. Okay, okay so C dot dash dot dash dot. That's right. Dot, o, dash dot dash dot. O is dash dash dash. dash, dash. T. T. Is or dash. A, A is dot dash. Okay. Um, T is a uh, dash L. and L is dot dash dot 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 dash dot dot. Got it. Do you have the other one too? I for leche. Mm -hmm. Uh, so L is dot dash dot dot. E is dot. C is dash dot dash dot. H is dot 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 and then dot for E. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, what was the uh, range we're supposed to hit? Uh two seven three one. The radio tube went out. Excellent. Oh of course it did. It's okay, there's one on display. That's what we need it for. <laughs> Probably. Most likely. That might be why we need the key. Yeah. If this one's locked. It's locked. There you go. This is my uh, uh whatever tube. Radio tube. Technically, I think it's a vacuum tube, but sure. <laughs> we'll we'll go with that. Tube that goes in radio. But they're called vacuum tubes because all the uh it's vacuum sealed. Ah believe i could be wrong on that i'm not the smartest person <laughs> yeah it's very uh worn out who needs a working one on display anyways okay go ahead what was it again two seven three one okay connect uh where at the top okay so it's Dash dot dash dot. Do you hit send? Maybe. Okay. okay. Dash dash dash. Uh, dot dash. Dash. Dot dash dot dot. Okay. Dot dash dot dot. Dot. Dash dot dash dot. 
dot 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 so many dots okay okay package is on its way is that what they said in spanish pretty much Basically, message received. We'll be sending the package as soon as possible. Okay. I know just enough Spanish to squeak by with that. You know, just enough Spanish to get you in trouble? Yeah, pretty much. Well, um, what? I was also wondering, I wasn't paying too close attention at Henrik's. Because I think that passcode box has the East carving in it most likely but i don't know the pin to it yeah i don't know that we know the pin to it not 100 percent sure where we get the pin to that i don't know but we probably have to wait until next day probably because aren't gonna be receiving it immediately because of course nope so maybe we can check uh henrik's disc again to see if it's got the pin on there because assumedly he'd have it. Yeah, presumably. There we go. Woohoo! Just the long slumber. I'm curious of Chaco Canyon. One six oh five. One two two two. One hammer the two button until it stops. We're sorry. Your call cannot be completed. Excuse me. Dial. I did a one. One five oh five. The daddles were uh, oh, I got gotcha. you. I was calling the wrong Taco number. Canyon Cultural Center. Hi, this is Nancy Drew calling. Hi, Nancy. It's Sheila. What can I do for you? I've just got to get my hands on a replica of that jade carving you lost. Do you have any ideas? Not off the top of my head, but maybe one of my staff will have a bright idea. I need some time to ask around. Can you call back later? Sure, sure thing. thing. Feel free to call if you have any more questions. Okay, I remember there being something about that. That's fair. We should also be getting a package from Prudence. Yep. So we should have two packages today. That's two pieces. We know the Pakal carving is in the museum. We know that the East carving is in the museum. That leaves the one we already have. Mm-hmm. And... The Chaco Canyon carving. The Chaco Canyon carving. Anything here? Haha, -ha, package. Ugh. That's terrifying. Oh, dear heavens. We have to get them cross eyed. I'm guessing cross eyed. Probably. Aha. There's that one. So we still haven't huh. gotten the one from Prudence. Because I think that was the one that we got from the radio. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, we could try talking to Henrik, I guess. See if he knows anything. That's true. We currently have two pieces. We know the Bacall is somewhere in the building, according to Henrik. And we know East is in that locked box, presumably. We have to figure out how to get into that one. Right. And... Sheila's working on the North piece. 
by asking around at the Good afternoon, young lady. Cultural Center. Henrik, I received a note from your friends in Copan. I've got the Copan fool key. I still need the Pakal, though. How's your memory? The tomb. Nancy, I hid the Pakal carving in the replica of the Pakal tomb at the bottom of, of the course. temple exhibit. Huh. Now, how so did we I just think need of that? that and another thing, quiz question. you need to get past that computer quiz. Sunny set it up with an impossible question. No one knows what Pakal was afraid of. Kotamundi. But Sunny was petrified of the Kotamundi. It's an ornery bandit with a narrow snout and a long ring tail, much like a raccoon or a polecat. Uh -huh. According to your notes, Pakal made a six-part key to the Whisperer's tomb and scattered the pieces around the world. Do you remember anything about this? Six keys? Six keys? Six keys! Nancy, what are the four corners of the world? North, south, east, and west. Plus the first king, Pakal himself, and the Copan fool. When they're all assembled, they open the tomb. Don't you see? This is why I stole the Pakal, to prevent some other schemer from putting the key together. Do you think I should alert the police? You must keep this to yourself for now. It's your only hope of getting to the bottom of this. You Fair enough. I'll be I back. tend to agree. I'll do my best. <laughs> okay. Where are we off to? I guess we could go back to the museum. Yeah, we know the answer to the last thing now, I guess. We can get in the, the call to replica thing. Right. Go! So many clicks. It's locked. Oh my gosh. Of course. I hate that sound. At least it keeps our clearance. Yeah, thankfully. I think I would uh cry if it didn't. Fair enough. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Pulse tumor creating great fine. Wait, so is it in here? Jade and the uh, So, yeah. We need the glow stick, obviously. We can't get glow stick. It's locked. Hmm. I think we need to go in there. Um, there should be another door around here with the quiz. Yeah, it's on yeah. The other side of the I know. staircase. I know where it is. I just. Because that door leads out, right? I think so. Quiz. Okay. Cody Mundi. C O A T I M U N D I. There we go. Cool. Excellent. Awesome. <laughs> Time to scream. <laughs> this is ridiculous. There's there the piece. Is. There's the pickle. So get a glow stick. Excellent. Um. Check for any packages, I guess. Yeah, we can check for packages. We're still waiting on the necklace from Prudence. Aha. Hey, look, the necklace from Prudence. Prudence Rutherford. Nancy, please relieve me of these horrid fake rubies by offering them to the Maya god of refusal. <laughs> if there, if is, there is one. one, I have no love for imposters. I don't care about the rubies, Prudence. I'm just going to throw them away, honestly. Especially if they are fake. <laughs> Check for any messages. I guess I haven't oh, done that Oh, there's well. a... You have voicemail. There's a note. Nancy, the police called. They want me to go down to the station for further questioning. Something about an anonymous tip. Ugh, I have... Do I have do time, I have for, time this? for this? No. Hold down the fort while I'm gone, will you please? I left my office open if you need anything. That's why she's gone. Ah. You have... Nancy, it's Joanna. The police are done giving me the third degree, but now the board has suspended me. To, 
To make a long story short, I'm forbidden to set foot in the museum. Could you please call Franklin Rose and try to reason with him? If we don't get a move on, this exhibit is going straight down the tubes. To replay messages, press zero. They're not one from... I think we're going to have to call them back. That's fair. I probably have to wait a day or something. Boswell, Jackson, and Rose, how may I direct your call? This is Nancy Drew. Calling for Franklin Rose, please. Just a minute, please. Nancy, you must be psychic. I was just getting ready to call you myself. <laughs> hmm. Oh, really? Why? I feel I should apologize for the situation that's going on at the museum, dear. I really did think we were setting you up with a nice little internship, a breather from your casework. <laughs> but instead, it looks like we've fed you to the lions. Yeah, that's kind of normal. Yeah, yeah, it is. Don't worry, I'm used to it by now. <laughs> yep. And after all, this situation is no more treacherous than my recent attempt at a ski vacation in Wisconsin. Anyway, about Beach Hill. I think I know what you're going to say, Nancy. Oh. Let me be frank. Joanna Riggs has been in the doghouse with the board for months. Her thirst for acclaim has led her to gamble the future and the reputation of Beach Hill time and again. Now that we've lost the Bacall carving, one of our most notable pieces, well, she's just got to be stopped. But with Henrik in the hospital and Joanna suspended, how can we possibly get this exhibit off the ground? Leave that to me. We'll postpone the opening if we have to. Look, I've got a client waiting, Nancy. What we need now is for you to take up the slack. I've spoken to the rest of the board, and we've agreed that the best thing is to put you in charge. <laughs> but, Mr. Rose, I don't think Joanna is responsible for the Bacall theft. She shouldn't be punished. She's not being punished, dear. In legal terms, we're suspending her in abundance of caution, so she won't do any more damage to Beach Hill's reputation or her own. We're counting on you to catch this thief red-handed. <laughs> Just kidding, kiddo. <laughs> if you can get the Pakal back, we'll see about giving Ms. Riggs another chance. That seems fair, doesn't it? I've recovered the Pakal carving. That's great! So the case is closed. I'll reinstate Joanna as museum curator, and we can get on with the business of launching this exhibit. Where in the world did you find it? Who's behind all this nonsense? Mr. Rose, this case is far from closed. Yeah. Do you trust me? What in the world are you talking about? I'm sorry, but I can't explain everything now. I'll take good care of the carving, I promise. What can I say, Nancy? I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Do what you have to do, but let's get this mess cleaned up, all right? So you'll call Joanna and invite her back to work? I'll call her right away. Thanks, Mr. Rose. That's what I'm here for. Hmm. I'm trying to think where we could find that code block. I know. Joanna's office, there was the list of items. Is, is it on there? Maybe. It would tell us where the item is located, I would think. Which, oh, hi, you're back. <laughs> Wonderful. Dang it. Thanks for clearing my name, Nancy. Honestly, I mean, what kind of moron would I be to oh. ruin my own exhibit? Anyway, we need to make up for lost time. I need you to go to the storeroom and start unpacking some of those crates. One of the pieces has a fancy security device on it. The code is 0677. Sure thing, Joanna. I'll see you later. Semper ubi sabubi. Semper ubi sabubi. You came back really fast. Yeah. <laughs> Were you just sitting in the parking lot waiting for Mr. Rose to call you back? <laughs> I mean, she wasn't allowed to set... No, that's the wrong place. She wasn't allowed to set foot on the property, so she would have to be a little bit away. <laughs> the McDonald's across the street. Who says there's a McDonald's across the street? There's a McDonald's everywhere. It's true. All right, so that's Bishop Diego's carvings. So that's one, we two, have four, five. We have five. We're, we're missing, missing the Chaco Canyon. Which I think we're going to have to wait until the next day. Probably. Uh, 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 uh. You're getting turned around. Yep.
my guess is we're gonna have to wait for the next day call them they're gonna send something and then we'll have to wait for the next day again <laughs> that does seem to be a pattern I'm just gonna sleep for two days it's fine and nancy will need some rest everything can wait right there's there's nothing that requires the uh, i mean i guess i can try calling one five oh five you have the number memorized yet yes i do Chaco Canyon Cultural Center. Hi, this is Nancy Drew calling. Hi, Nancy. It's Sheila. Well, we racked our brains. Finally, one of my staff came up with the original box that the carving was packed in. The piece was encased in a tight foam cast to That's prevent damage right. during shipping. Uh -huh. I'm not sure how much it's good it'll mold. do you, but I can send it to you if you like. That just might work. Henrik left Beach Hill as his forwarding address, so I know what to do. I'll send it express. Thanks a million, Sheila. Good luck with your investigation. She's sending an express. Hooray! Federal Express. <laughs> Click. So many clicks. Eh, that's probably fine. Time for the sound. <laughs> that will make any 90s child flinch. Yep. Time for school. You're like, I'm late. Wait, I haven't been in school and... 10, 15 years. <laughs> Been a while for those 90 kids. Yeah. Well, just depending. Yeah, certainly not us. <laughs> not the late 90s kids. It's only been like <laughs> five, six, seven years. Yeah. The Still early terrifying. 90s are turning 30, so. Oh, don't even bring that up. <laughs> The early 90s, the early 90s are already 30, except for the, uh, the ones born in 93 are the one turning 30 this year. It's true. Uh, package. Package, package. Pack, pack, package. Pa package? Package. I bet I can make a mold from this foam core. I okay. agree. How do we do it? Most likely the lab. That would make the most sense. Aha. Just the device I'm looking for. It's already preloaded with some uh, stuff. That hardened really fast. Yes, yes, it did. Okay. Um, Do we put it together in the place where we put the pottery together? Most likely. According to Henrik's notes, I need to make a key out of these pieces. Gotcha. Nope. Nope. No. What? I am Confucius. Oops, not the right button. It looks like it should be the plastic mold one. I didn't figure that would go on first. Where's my turn thing? There it is. Hiding. That looks like this one. What am I doing not wrong? Right. Maybe yeah. the other one? Looks just like that one. There's something weird about this puzzle, I remember. Yeah. We struggled with it, I feel like. Because that should go right there, but... Mm -hmm. What are we doing wrong? Are we sure the top doesn't go on first? I tried. Oh my gosh. Ah. I, I tried. It's so frustrating. It makes no sense, but... Should be the frog looking one. What are you trying to say about it? <laughs> what did it ever Looks do like to you? Looks like a frog. Now I have the key. The key. Now I can go die. It's usually what happens in Nancy Drew games, isn't it? Well, at least once or twice. Somehow we haven't hit a, a you dang messed up fatal error. Yeah, somehow. I'm sure that's Looks going like to change. Looks like this side is missing a part. Something's missing here. But what? Yeah. This? Something's missing here. Hmm. That doesn't bug well. Missing that. This side looks damaged. This? Oh, I see. I see, said the line man, when he clearly did not. <laughs> Do 
It's gotta be this one, right? Something's missing here. Obviously. But where is the missing piece? Good question. This thing is really hard to move around. Yeah, it is. Like, what? Here. <laughs> Can't tell what side I'm on, dang it. I wanna look at this side. I'm not hmm. sure that I've seen a place with like a disc. Yeah, no. Not that I can remember. Hmm. Did we try the big old door near this monolith? I don't think we've actually looked at that door. I mean, that's just the exit to the other thing. Is it? It's locked. Oh, yeah. It's too dark in here. I need a light. I mean, I guess we haven't been through here, which means it could be in here. see anything. Yeah, I don't either. Hmm. Is that, is that the road symbol? Yes, it is. I wonder. There is a exhibit on calendar stones, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. Because the rest of those look like ca Mayan calendar stones. Uh, where was the exhibit on calendars? Over Language, there? Language, maybe? Hmm. I don't think it'd be rituals. Artifacts? No. Wait. I don't think that's right. No. I think it's just gonna be like a, a disc type thing. Right. Anything like here? There. there. That. I need that. Give me. Where's my key? Wow, these are heavy. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm They're made sure of stone. I these stones for very much. I'm not sure I can hold on to Shut these up, Nancy. I'm trying. I've got to put these things down. Don't drop them, Nancy. If you drop them, you're gonna be in so much trouble. You're gonna be. That's gonna be a fatal error. <laughs> missing here yeah not like the thing that you're struggling with right now the poem said when the first king ascends again ascends again oh shoot <laughs> it didn't say in that poem did it i think it did maybe it did and we just weren't paying attention i i, I well are they talking about because they said the first king ascends again he, Pakal believed he was the first king. So when did Pakal ascend? That's fair. And there's that whole thing on his ascension. This. Uh, look back at that other one for a second. Uh, ascended the throne 615 CE at the age of 12. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. What is Exhibit J? Which, uh, which one is that? Exhibit J. 
Mm -hmm. Hang on a sec. Oof, hate that. What? The music. Fair enough. J is if you go out to the garden on the right side, it's the first exhibit on your right. First exhibit, so this one? Yeah. Date six Lamott. Gotcha. The Zulkin date. So, do we remember which one Lamott is? I can tell you here in a second. You took a picture of it? I did. Excellent. Six should be easy enough to figure out. Okay, six should be dash okay. dot. So Lamont kind of looks like road, where it has four circles on it and a star in the middle. Again, I don't know that it's going to matter. I just realized, if you know what six is. Fair enough. There it is. Yep, there it goes. And the key. Which one opened? Is it the damage side? I don't know. It's the damage side. The only two sides she commented on. I have to choose which side of the cube goes here. So that one was north, if I remember correctly. So which one's north? The the one oh, that we this. made. But which one do we put in there? The call? Assumedly. Uh, was that the one on the top or bottom? I thought it was, but I don't know how to... So... No, it's it's whatever it's gotta be whatever side this is, right? It's gotta be. So if we're saying that the side with the dial that we just turned was mm -hmm. north, then it would be the west side. Does that track? Maybe. Or no, the east side. Because north, south, east, west. Oh. Nothing happened. Okay, so that's the right <laughs> one. Why did it turn? Oh, okay, you're turning whichever one in. I gotcha. I don't know which one it is. Fair enough. That one. Aha. Uh -huh. And then we have to do it again. Oh, of course. Is that this one? It's this one. So what was the one that we just did? We did this one? Yeah. Which is what? Uh... Was the one from Poppy? Well, it wasn't that one. It wasn't that one? It's gotta be the plaster one. Maybe. Yep. We've done that side. I think we've done this side too. Nope. It's that one. Be the last step. We've done that one. We've done that one. I don't think we've done that one. There we go. Wonder what's inside. A mummy. <gasps> yeah. It's blank. Who's your friend, Nancy? <gasps> Boo. Taylor Sinclair. Who you of course expect? It was Taylor. The tooth fairy. Looks like someone forgot her beauty cream. I guess we can't all age gracefully. I'm sure she would say the same about you. You've been a top-notch assistant, Nancy, but I'm afraid you're just not going to make it in the art world. Why do you say that? <laughs> Why are you doing this? Nancy, do you have any idea what that book contains? Help me out, Sinclair. I'm drawing a blank. The Whisperer's writings are the only known personal account of Maya life. The only written glimpse into Bacall's time anywhere. Do you know what I can get for that thing on the black market? Why did your mouth keep moving? <laughs> but it doesn't belong to you. Finders keepers, I say. Nobody even realizes this thing has any contents. Won't they get a surprise when they finally open it up and find that it contains a 7th century scribe and a 21st century detective. Adios, Nancy. Uh oh. That seems bad. So. Something's missing here. 
Is it on the ground? I don't know. I'm starting to run out of air in here. Yeah, yeah, Nancy. What's missing? Oh, wait. Something oh, no. What kind of look like the same type design as that? Kind of, but it's got to be... Something's <coughs> missing here. It's got to be in here, here with us. It's got to be. Oh, we can turn. Well, that's wonderful. <laughs> I'm suffocating in here. Let me out. I'm working on it, Nancy. Oh, it's in her mouth. Or there's a bar in her mouth. Uh -huh. Bar. Uh. 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 What slid? Good question. Nancy, if you die, so help me. <laughs> it's definitely Aha. hard. The actual one. The, scribes notes about Bacall. the other one was fake. Aha. Uh -huh. As well as the eyepiece. Even in death, that scribe hid her actual work. Was it her that hid it, or was it Bacall? Oh, that's fair. Because she was... Our heroine emerges from the tomb. Like a mermaid from the sea. Meanwhile, the foolish villain stews in the sour soup of his own miscalculation. From deep in the recesses Why are you of all time, here? a wise a royal scribe whispers her thanks. And a priceless chapter of history is rescued from obscurity. Where to go, Nancy? <laughs> what in the world? Ah, confound you, Not Nancy Nancy's Drew. fault. <laughs> no. Blame Bacall. Dear Dad, it was great to talk to you on the phone last night. I can't wait to see you back in River Heights where I can fill you in on the whole story. Can you believe that your own daughter was recently standing face to face with a real mummy? Now that the scribe's book has been recovered, I understand how important it is and why Taylor thought he could make a fortune selling it on the black market. The book contains one of the only personal accounts of Maya life in existence anywhere. I'm sure it'll be a tremendous addition to our knowledge of the Maya, once it's translated, that is. And now that Henrik's memory is back up to speed again, I'm sure he'll be itching to get to work on it. Taylor Sinclair won't be making any art deals for a long time, though, that's for sure. I guess I shouldn't be surprised about Alejandro's discovery that the Pakal Carving's provenance documents were faked after all. When Franklin Rose and the board found out, they arranged to return the artifact to Mexico right away. Mexican officials are so happy to have the artifact back, they have pledged a new era of diplomatic relations with Beach Hill. Joanna sure learned her lesson about making deals with shady operators like Taylor. The board has agreed to give her another chance, as long as she reforms her business tactics. And what else? Oh yes, Poppy Dada's announced a new direction in her artwork. All her new paintings are going to feature, what else, mysterious red handprints. So I guess everyone is taking off in new directions now. I'm going to stay and help this exhibit get launched. But I'll see you back at home in a couple of weeks. Have a safe trip home. Love, Nancy. <laughs> Dear Nancy, Bess and George told me you're on a case in D.C. I hope everything is working out for you. I wish I could say the same for me. I'm planning on living here. But there's been some trouble. I think someone or something doesn't want me here. Please. Nancy, I'm afraid I can't stay here very much longer. I know you're busy, but I'm desperate. I need you to come out and investigate. Please say you will. Your friend, Sally. Nice. <laughs> Ghost Dogs Moon Lake. Yep. You can start seeing some of the, uh, the more seasoned development as you go through the series. Yeah. Um, I think one of the things I noticed was, uh, the um the the three D like moving around a three D object for specifically the the monolith. Yeah. I think that's the first time they've done that in one of these games. Yeah, I think you're right. Um I it feels like in every game and I speak this having played all of the games, but <laughs> um in every game they're they try to add some kind of new thing because um as a reminder, these games were coming out about every six months for a long time. That's why there's, what, 33 games? Yeah, there's 33 of them. 
There's 33 games. They were coming out about every six months or so, about two a year. Um, so it's not like they could overhaul everything, like do massive changes between games. So there just isn't that like we'd expect in a lot of other games. It's true. Um, but that's honestly fine. Like it's especially having played these myself in order uh from when I started playing them. Um I played them more or less in order, so you can see the slow improvements and the the just refining the 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 thing the what <laughs> whatever you want to call the the recipe i guess yeah um the only time that they've ever tried something like crazy new is uh with midnight in salem which is still most recent most currently the most recent game i hope so much that they continue um making games cuz it's been a bit and there has been no announcement and it always it kind of worries me a little bit but yeah i think all the fans agree with you that um they really want to see something new and hope that they're not giving up you know just because i midnight. feel like midnight in salem kind of had a rough reception and yeah development Mm -hmm. So hopefully that wasn't too discouraging for them. Yeah. And I know they had some other hard times, like having one series be your entire thing and a series that's kind of a niche. You're not going to make a ton of money. Yeah. It's just not how gaming industry is. But they still have a fairly vibrant community. I mean, if you look on facebook and on uh twitter wherever else they post there's a vibrant community there still and i would hate to see them give that up but yeah yeah this was a uh, secret of the scarlet hand um at some point in the future will bring you ghost dogs of moon lake mm -hmm. which was kind of uh teased there at the end so a little bit i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please let us know and we'll see you in the next one bye guys bye